hey everybody my lovely lovely libras cross watchers and channel fans it is Lori, and i am here to do your uplifting reading all about you i hope you guys are all happy healthy and having some fun if you are a new viewer welcome welcome i hope you find something that resonates with you and that you come back in the future if you are one of my awesome returning viewers you know i love you guys to pieces Either way, I want to say how much I appreciate each and every one of you for spending your time with me. I love you all to pieces. Let's go ahead and see who we are focusing on today. Awesome. What is it about you that we need to know about? Four of Cups. Ooh, this is a little different. This is an uplifting reading, so I want to see where this goes. You're not somebody who is easily satisfied. And that I'm not getting that that's a negative thing, but I want to see where this goes. I want to, I want to follow this uh, message of spirits here. You're not easily satisfied. So that tells me that you will wait for something to be right before you jump in. You're not just going to accept things as they are. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Um, I'm getting very strong. I know this is mostly a reading for Libra. However, every now and then other stronger energies come through. So you might be a Libra sun. Um with a lot of Virgo or Taurus or Capricorn energy in your chart, okay? Like you could be rising or moon sign. Or this could be one of the earth signs in your house of money, which, oh my goodness, right now I'm so tired. I can't remember if that's the eighth house or first time. Can't remember. Okay, anyways... You are definitely not somebody, you take your time, you think things through, you get the answers that you need, you're not easily satisfied. So if somebody says um, they're going to make you a cake and they're like, you, they tell you that they're going to make you a yellow cake with chocolate frosting and you're like so excited because that's what you really love and then all of a sudden they come back and they say, you know what? I don't have milk chocolate frosting. I have a butter cream. You're like, no, I'll wait until we can do, you know, I really want that cake. I don't want to settle for something less. Okay. And it's not that you're being overly picky. It's not that at all. You just understand that if the offer was made for one thing, that that's what you want. Okay, you're not settling for less. You can wait. You don't have to have cake today. If, in, in fact, you may even offer to go to the store and go buy that milk chocolate frosting just so everybody can have it. Okay, and, and it, it, everything is kept peaceful. I do feel that there's like you do not want to disrupt energy around you, but you are not settling. You're not the type to overly compromise just to say, okay, I did it. So if you were to buy a piece of furniture, you would be like, oh, I really love this piece. Okay, well, let me go check that we have it in the in the storehouse. And you're excited about taking it home, okay, tomorrow, a couple of days. And they come back and they're like, oh, this is the last one we have. This is it. We have this floor model. You're like, hmm, I'm not sure that that's what I want because I really wanted to get this later in the week with the blue fabric instead of the tan fabric. These are just examples, okay? This is not exactly what's happening here. These are just examples of um, how you are, okay? So you may say, no, you know what? I don't want the floor model. I don't want that purple color that's on there. I will wait. I will wait to get an order special made. So you don't just jump in and say, oh, okay, I'm going to do that just to keep the peace. No. But you also don't want to create a ripple for the people around you. So you're like, I can wait. I'm not in a rush, you know, so everybody is satisfied. I hope that makes sense. I hope you guys all understood that. And if you did, and this is you, drop a comment, okay? It doesn't matter what sign you are. I am reading specifically for Libras. 
But like I said, you can be any sign. And if this is resonating with you, it's a, a reading for you. What have you accomplished or overcome that we you should be proud of or we should know about? Okay, so you definitely overcame some sort of major temptation in your life. Ooh, 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 this ties right back to this. This is why you are the way you are. You got the devil energy here. You got, excuse the language, you got suckered in to something at some point and you were like, oh, that's so awesome, that's so cool, that's exactly what I want, blah, 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 blah. And then they switched it up on you and said, well, we don't have that in the tan, just like you're looking at. We don't have that anymore. Um, but we have this purple one. We do. We got this purple one you can take home today. And you're like, oh, I don't know how to say no, so I'm going to say yes. Okay? Because you were so excited and you don't want to disappoint any. You didn't want to disappoint anyone. So you, you got suckered into taking home something that you didn't want. And you were very, very unhappy with it for a very long time. Okay? And it's funny because you did put up with that purple thing, <laughs> that purple couch, per se, for a really long time before you went, why the heck don't I just sell this purple couch and go buy what I want? Ding, 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 ding. Okay, that's when you realized you don't have to compromise. You don't have to settle. And you're not going to get, excuse the language again, suckered into just going with whatever's offered to you, okay, to keep the peace, to make other people happy, or because you're overly excited about receiving something. You know that you want satisfaction. Awesome energy here. That's a good lesson to learn. That's a beautiful lesson to learn. All right. And a major accomplishment in life. So many people just get too excited or just let people roll over them you know well that's all we have take what we've got or go away you know I, ugh, ugh. when people start talking to us like that it depends on who we are but maybe that intimidates you you know and then you can't think straight and then you you make choices out of fear whatever you overcame it okay what's the impact that you have on the people around you it's funny because i knew this card was in this uh reading here somewhere you wake people up. You wake them up. You help them to see that they don't have to be anyone else's lackey. They don't have to accept things the way that they are. That they can choose for themselves. Okay? That they can get out of their own way. Beautiful energy. You, I mean, and this is ushering in change. The Tower card is always about ushering in change. Accepting the change. Especially after you have a, a devil energy here. Look at this. And this brings in the Nine of Cups energy. Satisfaction, happiness, joy. Feeling like miracles have happened here. And it's all because people are learning to stand up for what they want. They're allowing the changes to happen. They're having epiphanies about who they are, what they've been dealing with, and what they accept. Awesome. You are helping them to see things in a whole different light. Waking them up. Ace of spirals. Ace of wands. Something that you do that you should never, ever stop doing. This is you being passionate. Okay? But you're very all-inclusive. Your passion is not one thing only. Okay? But your focus might be. So if you desire a tan-colored couch, you're not going to accept the purple one. Okay, so you have a, a straightforward focus, but your passion is to be diverse, to be open, to be harmonious, to get along with people. Okay, beautiful energy here. See things from a different perspective. What works for you? All right, and then you have the healer, the page of cups here. Beautiful ending to this reading Beautiful ending. Peaceful. Fresh, fresh perspective on, this is weird, this just came in. Um, seeing the divinity in other people, but being able to work with that aspect of them instead of their ego. I don't know what that means. 
I'm tired. I'm, I apologize. I am very sleepy. Um, under a lot of uh, no sleep and a lot of physical trying to get things packed up. And a little bit of stress trying to get in. Okay, anyways, there's a lot of healing here. There's a lot of new perspective. Community, bees are all about community. Helping people around you possibly overcome and heal from situations where they jumped in, got in over their head, didn't know how to get out of it. This is what I feel like you do is help them recover from that. And how not to get themselves in that kind of situation again. You could be some sort of financial advisor here. Um, financial recovery. Something. I don't know. Beautiful message here though. Alright. Tickle, tap, or boop the like button for me if you will. If this resonated with you. If this made sense for you. If it's your message. Go ahead and claim it in the comments. Do you know someone like this? This may not be um, you today. This might be somebody you know. Go ahead and drop it in the comments. You don't have to tell us their name, but you can say, hey, it's my brother-in-law, my sister, my, my kid. All right, let's see what we've got here. Spirit animal, 57, squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. I love that. Then you've got, look at this, 57, 58, Stag Spirit. And you can see where I picked it out from. Take the lead. 49, Rabbit Spirit. Now is a lucky time. And card 8, Bobcat Spirit. Life is a mystery. And I, this ties into this energy. And I know I didn't do this Ace of Wands must justice here. But I do feel like there's a lot going on behind the scenes that you're not talking about. But it's about keeping that focus. There's something very good coming your way. Okay? All right. Let's get you three yes or no answers. I just looked at the clock and it was 12, uh, 21. So three three stabilities. Yeah, you may be getting some sort of uh, messages, downloads. Uh, you may feel comfortable like somebody's helping you or, or easing your stress. All right, five is a no answer. One through five is no, six through 12 is yes, unless you want to reverse that. But you've got five, 11, six, and 10. So that's a no answer. Answer number two is an 11. That's a yes answer. And you've got five, nine, 12. Answer number three is a six. So that's a low end yes, but you have six, five, 11, and nine. All right, my lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers, and channel fans, until our energies cross again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.